What's up, Mortgage Coach community? Dave Savage, and I am interviewing Sean Herrera. What's up, Sean? What's up, everyone? What's up, my man? So, How are you doing? I'm good, man. So I think last time I interviewed you, you had just hit a production milestone. Was it was it 10 million in production yeah, in a single 12. month? 10 12. Was the gold. I hit 12. Yeah. So yeah. I'll put I'll put a link to that down below. But Sean has been working what for like three years to hit that goal. How long have you been at it to hit that goal? This is my third year, 2019 third year originating. So yeah, so it was so third it probably would have year, been a stretch goal year one, but um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah, dude, first of all, a lot of people go their entire career and never hit 10 loans in a single month, let alone 12 million in a single month, and you did it in your third year of the business. So, dude, congrats. Hey, Appreciate that. Yeah, so I have always considered you a pioneer in the mortgage coach community in terms of how you use video, and you were just recognized by BombBomb as one of their top video influencers. And I think they only recognize a couple from the mortgage industry is that right like are you one of are you the only one or are there like two no or three of you? no there was a handful so basically what they do is they did it by category so and they picked three uh winners real estate side and three winners mortgage side for each of the categories and the one that i was included in was the all around so basically using video kind of in all aspects of my business where others were consumer education I forget what the other the other the other ones were, but there was multiple. Um, div, I don't know what to call it divisions uh, categories, I guess. Categories. So, well, it's a big deal. They've got a very big platform in both mortgage and real estate, and you were recognized. I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, before we get into video, why don't you just tell everybody a little bit about your mortgage practice if they've never heard from you before? Yeah. The kind of production you're doing, and then I'll I'll get into how you're using video. Okay, cool. So Sean Rero, uh, I currently work with Guaranteed Rate. I've been uh, originating loans since January of 2017. Before that, I was, uh, I was a wholesale rep for a long time. Um, then I was in business development. So I've always, I've been in the industry for about 18 years, but on the origination side for uh, basically, this is my final third year here. Um, I'll do 75 million this year. Uh, currently, as of today, because I knew you'd ask, 110 units for 71 million as of today. Boom. And everybody gets a total cost analysis? Yes. Like like over and over and over again. I use it, I use total cost analysis as a funnel of information. So um, that's, that's kind of how I describe it. I tell every client, uh, we're going to use this tool from start to finish. It's a funnel of information to show you anything and everything you want to see. And uh, I want to show you, not tell you how these work. Ooh, I love that. Script alert, everybody. Did you catch that? <laughs> and uh, and can, can, at the end of the day, the total cost analysis that it is, it's a communication platform to compliantly quote rates and fees in a way that's a, a sales advantage. And it's also faster and easier for you. So I want to hear your, your value prop. Like, why should a consumer work for you? How do you, how do you articulate that to a borrower? Why you? Yeah, it's a great question because um this year i learned so much this year and i feel like i really found my my groove and my stride with who i serve best because i know i can't i will not serve everyone and um my value prop is you're going to know as much if not more than most mortgage advisors by the time this is over um it's really important to me that most of my clients are first-time buyers i'll preface it with that um they have to know what they're doing i mean in our market a million dollar home is not uncommon for a first time buyer in Silicon Valley, San Francisco. If you're going to spend a million dollars, I want you to know exactly how it works. And um, that's really kind of my value proposition. Um, I've lost plenty of people as a result of it because they think that it's not important. And I just learned this year, I'm not willing to deviate from what I believe is right. Um, I'm not going to bend my process to someone else. If I'm not the right fit, I'm not the right fit. And I'm completely comfortable with that. So the people that do work with me absolutely love it. Um, I think I add a lot of value to their transaction and even onward. Um, and then those are like, oh, this is too much. Great. No worries. So help me understand how you articulate that. Like if there was a, a 30 second script and I know you don't like scripts, so you don't <laughs> use scripts. I'm not going to ask you your script, yeah. but I would like to just get a feel for how you articulate that to a family in 30 seconds. Less than a minute. So give, okay. give me a shot at it. So, so this, is, this, is my, um, this is how I kind of do every first-time buyer call. So I'll answer, 
I say that it seems like a lot of people either have a lot of questions or they don't know what to ask. Which end of that spectrum are you on? And they'll answer and then we'll go through it. And then I just tell them that I'm going to make sure they're well educated and that they have complete transparency throughout this transaction. I'm a visual learner, so I'd rather show them than tell them how all of this works. I'm going to build out a live website for you that you can share with anybody you trust to make a decision. We're going to use that as a funnel of information to look at every aspect of your home buying process and then use it as a financial planning tool afterwards. Boom, guys. So that was a beautiful script. Interesting. You call Mortgage Coach a personal website. Uh, is that a new move on your part? No, it's, I, I think it's a good description of what it is. Because if I say Mortgage Coach, they don't know what that means. Yeah. So I, I say that, and if uh, I'll call it a digital buyer's guide. Um, I just think it gives them a little bit more of like a description. We, we, we all know what um, we all know what Mortgage Coach is. They don't, and so I'd rather kind of. Sorry, Dave, get rid of the branding of the, uh, the software and make it my own. By the way, I have no problem with that. I love it. I mean, anything that you can say with confidence and consistently that gets them to get that information, we love it. So it's all good. All right. So why, why do you think BombBomb picked you as a uh, top video influencer? Any, any idea? Did they tell you why? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, they told me the reason was I'm using it in all categories. Um, they didn't say specifically this is what I did. And I didn't even know that this was um, something I, I didn't know I could win Video Influencer of the Year with Bomb Bomb and Tom Ferry. So it kind of came as a surprise. But um, I've really made a commitment to using video in every aspect of my business just from lessons learned. Um, so I use it. I use Bomb Bomb, obviously. And I've been using Bomb Bomb for five years no, like seven years now. So I've been using BombBomb for a really long time. Um, I was on a panel at their uh, Rehumanized conference, which everyone should go to. It's the best, I, I truly believe it's the best mortgage and real estate conference these days. Um, but yeah, my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Facebook, BombBomb, uh, and Mortgage Coach. I mean, just kind of using it everywhere. So, so here's how I see things and tell me how you see it. And Let's do questions like, I think we live in this platform society and Facebook's a platform. And sometimes putting mm -hmm. a video in the Facebook platform natively makes sense. I mean, Instagram's a platform, uh, YouTube's a platform. We built Mortgage Coach, so it's a platform, right? Sees video, you can do all that. Text video, just like pulling up your text and putting in a video, it's a platform. And then Bob Bob is a platform. You can create a video on that. You can email it. You can text it. You can do all kinds of things. You know, walk me through how you use these different channels. And, and are there times where you don't use the Bomb Bomb video platform, but you just made it, you do a text video or you do a, mm -hmm. a Facebook video, um, a mortgage coach video. Walk us through, and, and, and one last analogy, then I'll let you do it. And I use it a lot. Like I look at all these platforms from a video perspective is like you're a golfer and you've got this golf bag and you don't, you don't play every club on every hole. You know, you, you know, you pull out different clubs for different purposes. Walk us through how you see these platforms and how you see video in all the different platforms. That's perfect. I think I'm, I don't golf, but that's such a good analogy. Um, it really is the, it has to be at the right time. So I'm a big fan of psychology. So what I always say, uh, what us mortgage professionals do, we do fourth grade math and psychology for a living. And it has to be the right moment to reach somebody, to get their attention. So if, um, so Bomb Bomb, I, the, the thing I use Bomb Bomb the most for is doing like video um, weekly newsletters. So I'll send that out to my realtors, sphere of influence, leads. Um, I'll do uh, rate updates and things like that. And I'll use Bomb Bomb for that because I'll get, I love the, um, the feedback I get from bomb bomb. So I get to know when people open the video and when they play the video. So I get feedback of that. It's a great way to gauge interaction. And if I'm, if the content I'm putting out is worthwhile in this audience. And then, um, so that's kind of how I'm using bomb bomb more than anything else. And then YouTube, I, I had a client, I won't go into the whole story, but I had a client who uh, trusted the internet more than uh, human beings. I was better in rate, better in fees, but she still was kind of on this use quicken deal. And eventually, you know, she saw the light and we closed. She said how easy it was, gave me a great review. And I was, the whole time I was just like, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask her why um, she trusted the internet over a human. And I finally got the guts to do it after we closed. And she wrote me the most valuable email I think I've ever received. It was like a page and a half long. And what I realized from that is I have to become an internet lender. 
And I think a lot of us um, have, I'm going to call it arrogance, like this arrogance about us. If they want to use the internet, they want to use Quicken, that's just not my client. Well, they feel that way because they don't know any better. So like I, I've learned this year, like put that arrogance aside and they do want to work with us. They just don't know how it works. You know, they're, they're ignorant to this process. So my YouTube channel really came as a way for me to um, educate people. They can go see videos, learn a lot online about anything. Um, that I, uh, the questions I get a lot are the videos I'm building and they don't have to talk to me, you know, if that's what they're looking for, but I'm getting that, that face-to-face -face interaction. They get to see the confidence and it's a great resource library. So that's how I use YouTube. Um, time, time out, it, time out before yep, you go there. Sorry. So first of all, I'm going to start following your YouTube channel a little bit more. Mortgage Coach Community. I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear that I like YouTube too. I mean, I think it makes sense. I, I started seeing my kids, you know, like learn how to do things. You know, my kid is a, um, you know, really gifted face-off face athlete. And, and he learned yeah. that watching videos on YouTube and Instagram. And, you know, he's a D1 athlete that's going to go to Syracuse. And he yeah. learned it on social media content. So, so I, 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 I got really serious about that. And I do recommend, guys, it's 2020. And if you're a local referral-based mortgage professional, you should have a local referral-based strategy in your market. And video is part of it. YouTube channel, Facebook groups, Scott Nicholson's seller buy down local websites. Um, this, this is the year for you to really get serious about what Sean is saying. I think it's super important. One last thing. I am looking for mortgage coach professionals that are killing it with YouTube channels. So if you think you have an awesome YouTube channel, comment down below. Sean, I would love to um, do another interview with you on that topic uh, sometime in January if you're game on it. Yeah, for, for sure. And um, I've been really inconsistent with it. It's been hard for me to build the consistency, but you know, another thing I've realized, all of us can make time, you know, one hour meeting with a realtor, a buyer, two hours, but we don't make time for ourselves. And that content I think is really important. So now I'm calendaring time to make sure I get at least one video up a week. So it'll get better Smart. and better as we go. But yeah, thank you. And Smart. Yeah, Dave, if Dave, you're following that now, I'm just even more accountable. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. And again, Denise Donahue in Texas, the way she's using video, I mean, it's super smart. So it is keep breaking down the different platforms and how you use mortgage coach or how you use video. And yeah. obviously we'll close out with mortgage coach videos and how I think our community should be using them, but keep going. Yeah. So, um, bomb bomb YouTube, we've covered Instagram is mostly stories. I just started now taking the videos that I would have posted on or am posting on YouTube and I'm using the, um, what is it called? Instagram TV, Insta, whatever the IGTV, IGTV. So I just started using that for the, for kind of the longer videos that are more than a minute. But really what I love Instagram for is the stories where you can be in the moment at a signing, something wonderful just happened. And you're like, you have that sense of emotion in that moment. You can record it and share it really quickly. So that's, I think, and there's more people are watching stories. Stories are getting far more attention nowadays than um, the actual posts. So that's where I use Instagram a lot. So two, two things, guys. Check out my interview with Denise Donahue. I'm going to put it down below. She's killing it with both Instagram and Facebook stories. Um, you know, she gets into what she thinks is the psychology around it. And when I interview top realtors in the market, you know, that have great Instagram uh, profiles or great Facebook profiles, they're monetizing the stories. You know, they're, they're putting that story out and people are commenting back. And, it, you know, check out the interview I did with her. Super powerful. Keep going, bro. So uh, Facebook, Facebook, I'll take those same videos. So uh, the videos I'm uploading to YouTube, I will post those natively in Facebook. They get more attention than linking out. So, um, and that might be why, you know, some people don't do it. It's like, geez, I got to put this everywhere. Just do it. It takes a few minutes, but it's done and it's there forever. Um, and it just gives you credibility. So like a video I did last week that did really well on Instagram and Facebook was, Oh, uh, Thursday when rates got worse because uh, Trump tweeted that we were making progress with China. I made a, you know, it took me 10 minutes to make a video. I posted it onto Facebook, IGTV, and YouTube, the same video to three places. And, you know, it made me look really smart. So it's uh, just helping people understand how the market is impacted by um, comments, little things. There's the, the media gives us um, content 
every single day and we just have to take a minute to do it. But that's, that's primarily the channels I think that bomb bomb was looking at was bomb bomb, uh, YouTube, um, LinkedIn. I'm not using, I need to, I need to get on LinkedIn, but that was another one. They had Instagram and Facebook. Those are their, that was their primary. Did you, that, that video that you just did with the newsworthy event that you put in YouTube, Facebook, IGTV, which by the way, guys, we have an IGTV channel now at mortgage coach. So check it out. Did you also bomb bomb that out to everyone? Did you also put yes. that out to your database? So yep. super smart guys. And, and then here's the deal with the mortgage coach video. The mortgage coach video is that when you're quoting rates and fees, put a video on it. You know, the realtor can check it out. Different members of the family can check it out. I, I see some mortgage coach loan officers that do that with every client and they'll update it. And by the way, I see some that like, oh, you know what? I need to get a little more direction in the video and they'll do a bomb bomb video over a TCA. So I see that. And, and, and again, there's no right or wrong there's like, let's pull out the right club at the right time to make sure that I'm educating this family. And then let's pull out the right club at the right time to make sure I'm building my personal brand. And, and then you, you made me think about something in a whole different way. Let's face it, there is a whole, not, it's not even a subculture. It's a social trend of human beings that learn things on YouTube that, that respect what they see online more than they do a human being. So put some content online so that you're getting them from all directions. They're getting your content and your credibility online. And then they're also getting it when you meet them personally in the market. So let's close out with a little bit of mortgage coach love. What kind of feedback do you get from mm -hmm. clients when they get a total cost analysis? I'm doing a project with Kristen Messerday right now where we're collecting, you know, what are borrowers actually saying? Like, what do they like about the total cost analysis? So if you could just give me some generic feedback that you're getting from people around your personal websites, uh, yeah. I would love to hear that. No, um, so, so it's a non-negotiable. So I think at this time of year, everyone's kind of doing business planning for 2020. And I'm a big fan of Pareto principle, 80, 20. So what 20% of things did you do this year that led to 80% of your results? Mortgage coach, and bomb bomb are the two monthly subscriptions that I really can't live without. I mean, I've, I, I use them every single day. Um, and if it's not working, I wouldn't use it. So if I wasn't getting incredible feedback from people, I wouldn't use it. I, and going back to my value proposition, I think mortgage coach is a big part of that. Um, I knew Dave before I started originating. So once I, in January, 2017, when I started, it was already like tool number one that I'm going to use. And, and I think back then I, it was a little bit more of a differentiator, but my clients love it. I might even have, I'll read through my testimonials. I might even have testimonials where they speak to how he built us this live website, but it, it's transparency. All anybody really wants these days is authenticity and transparency. And I haven't found anything that does what mortgage coach does. And so it's completely worth it for me to do it with everyone. But again, if my clients didn't like it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it anymore, but um, I can't, I kind of can't live without it. So I'll find, I'll find Dave, I'll find some, uh, some actual testimonials. I know I've had people say stuff about it, so I'll find them for yeah, you, but please, it's, uh, please do. Please do. And, and again, a... it's not, and I've had people that it's too much and, and, you know, they don't tell me they went somewhere else, but I find out they did. But in that initial call, you can kind of tell that they just want a rate quote. And I'm just not that guy. I've told realtors that. You know, I had actually, here's, here's a good one. I had a realtor I've been working with. Well, she's been referring me for about a year, but we've closed zero transactions, takes up a ton of time. And she told me that, uh, this is great. She loves how I educate and do all this. But she said, Sean, nobody wants this. They just want a rate quote. And I said, that's not true. The people you work with only want a rate quote. And that's coming from you. I go, we're probably not a good fit for each other. You should use Quicken or better or something like that, where they can just get a rate quote. So I've gotten to a point where I just, I know what my business is. I know who I serve well. And I guess a level of confidence that this is it. This is how I do things. And um, I know it's not going to be for everyone, but the people it is for, they absolutely love it. Yeah, no, I, I am so with you. I am all about advice, not about price. And, and again, if you want to be in the price game, go for it. I'm all about the advice game. I'm all about um, advice, technology, and leadership. And if you appreciate and respect 
a, someone who uses those things really well, you're right for mortgage coach. You know, fortunately for us, 34% of loan officers that do over 100 loans a month or a year, 100 loans a year use mortgage coach. So let's, let's close out with one last question. Why do you think more loan officers and realtors don't do video? Like what's, why not? Because I interview a lot of people that kill it. We could list all the reasons, but why not? Like, why do you think more people don't use video more effectively? I think inherently everyone is scared of what they look and sound like. Um, that's me. That was me. Now this is just completely second nature, but I think they're, uh, it's vanity. Number one, we're scared of what we look like, what we sound like. Um, people that already kill it think they don't need to. I'm already killing it. Why should I change what I'm doing? Um, or it just takes up too much time. I think those are kind of the three biggest reasons or the three excuses, not reasons people have is I don't, I don't like what I look or sound like. I don't have the time to do it and I'm already killing it. So why should I bother? Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I, I interview hundreds of loan officers a year and, and here's the biggest deal of all. Every top professional I know that I've interviewed that uses video, which is a growing huge segment of the population, it saves time. Like once you do mortgage coach 10 or 20 times, you would say every five minutes in mortgage coach saves me 30 minutes. Same thing with video, but the, you know, the, the vanity part, the, the pride, the I'm uncomfortable with how I look and sound. I mean, that's, I think that's it. I mean, and, and again, my closing advice, and I'm gonna ask you to give your closing advice is make a commitment that you're just gonna do 10. And I do think the easiest videos are the text videos. Or like, let's just say you met someone and you're just saying thank you for meeting with me. Or, or someone that you can't get on the phone and you just make a text video and you say X. And of course, the mortgage coach video. Like the mortgage coach video, you're leaving this on voicemails all the time. Like you're, you know, you're, you're like, hey, here's the two options that I have for you. And this is what you told me your goal was. Like, you don't have to do that. Those are like easy to do. Um, and then of course, I, I am a fan of Bob Bob. It's a great distribution platform for anyone that makes video um, an important priority. And there's other great platforms. I'm not an ambassador of BombBomb. Bomb. You know, this interview is about you being recognized by them. So their names come up a lot, um, but they do a great job. They're best of breed in our community. What's your closing advice as we wrap up today's interview? Um, that, that was perfect. I mean, I would say the text videos are easy because you're already doing that. You're doing that with your kids. You're doing it with your spouse. You're, you're already using your cell phone just quickly. And by the way, this video, I'm on Zoom on my cell phone. Um, you, you already know how to do that and you know how to text. So that's easy. It already fits what's you, what you know. And when it comes to the TCAs, it's just as easy. It's faster to record a video and click send through Mortgage Coach than it is to type out, hey, Dave, I made this presentation for you. Click here. There's a lot. Of, it'll take forever just to type that out. And it's far more authentic when you do it um, by video. So if you do the video instead, you get a face-to-face -face meeting right away. They get to see your confidence level. They get to kind of get an idea of your personality. Um, I just think you'll win more often. I really do. I mean, last year I did 40 million. This year I did 75. So I don't know. I, I just think that these things work. They work really well and people appreciate them. So I love it. And, and if you follow Sean on Facebook and Instagram, you know the guy is living a big life. Uh, yeah, he's hardworking mortgage dude. He's also a fun-loving, adventurous dad and uh, just adventure dude. Uh, filming from the van, again, I'm going to put a link down below to my last interview with Sean. Sean, dude, you crushed it, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, guys, if you... Right, guys. Um, if you got value from this, uh, give us a like, give us a love, share it with your mortgage friends. Sean, one last ask for you. Will you forward me an example of a recent total cost analysis that I could put in the show notes down below? So if you're watching this from um, YouTube, in the description down below, we'll put a link to one of Sean's um, you know, mortgage coach TCAs. Also, Sean, send me a link to a bomb bomb report uh, that, that we can okay. put in the mortgage coach community so people can kind of get a feel for TCA platform, yeah. bomb bomb platform, and how you use it. You cool with that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll send you. I'll send you both of those. That's easy. All right. Take care, everybody. This calls a wrap.